forward to unveiling Optimus V3, you know, probably in Q1. I think it'll be ready for to, to show off. And uh, that, that I think is going to be quite remarkable. The Tesla third quarter earnings call for 2025 provided a tantalizing glimpse into its future. It not only addressed Tesla's financial performance, but also highlighted Musk's ambitious plans for Optimus, signaling that this humanoid robot is on the verge of transitioning from prototype to a product ready for the market. With Musk expressing confidence in unveiling an advanced version of Optimus early next year and emphasizing the transfer of cutting-edge AI from Tesla's autonomous vehicles, Optimus appears poised to revolutionize industries, homes, and even society at large. What new updates about Tesla Optimus were there in this call? Stick around. In the next 30 seconds, I'll show you Tesla's most secret update about Optimus. Before we begin, if you love staying ahead on Tesla and AI tech, hit subscribe now. You'll be the first to know the breaking news. When is the Tesla Optimus release date? The Q3 2025 earnings call marked a pivotal moment as Musk shifted the conversation from experimental demos to concrete timelines for unveiling and production, suggesting that Optimus is no longer just a sci-fi dream, but a viable commercial offering on the horizon. One of the most exciting revelations came when Musk discussed the upcoming Optimus version 3. He stated that Tesla is looking forward to unveiling this third iteration, probably in the first quarter of 2026, emphasizing that it will be ready to show off and describing it as remarkable. This timeline aligns with Tesla's aggressive push toward market readiness, building on the progress made with previous versions. Musk's enthusiasm was palpable as he highlighted how Optimus Gen 3 represents a leap forward in design and functionality. Unlike earlier models which were more about proving concepts, Optimus 3 is positioned as a production intent prototype, meaning it's engineered with scalability and real-world deployment in mind. This shift indicates that Tesla is moving beyond internal testing to preparing for public demonstrations that could attract potential buyers, from factories seeking automation solutions to households envisioning robotic assistance. And obviously, like the, the, the real-world intelligence we're devel we've developed for the car, most of that transfers to Optimus. So it's a, it's a very good starting point. A key factor accelerating Optimus toward commercial viability is the seamless transfer of technology from Tesla's automotive division. Musk pointed out that the real-world intelligence developed for Tesla's cars forms an excellent starting point for the robot. Tesla's full self-driving system, which has accumulated billions of miles of supervised driving data, relies on sophisticated neural networks to perceive the environment, make decisions, and adapt to unpredictable scenarios. Much of this AI architecture can be repurposed for Optimus, enabling it to understand and interact with the physical world in ways that other robots struggle to achieve. For instance, the same vision systems that allow a Tesla vehicle to navigate traffic can help Optimus recognize objects, avoid obstacles, and perform tasks like sorting items or assisting in warehouses. This cross-pollination of technology not only reduces development time but also enhances Optimus's reliability, making it more appealing for commercial sales. Musk's comments underscore Tesla's unique advantage. While competitors might excel in hardware or software separately, Tesla integrates both, leveraging its automotive expertise to create a robot that's truly intelligent from the ground up. However, Musk was candid about the challenges involved in bringing Optimus to market, which adds a layer of realism to the excitement. He described the project as incredibly difficult, far from a simple endeavor. One of the most complex aspects is the robot's hand, and forearm, which Musk likened to the human equivalent in terms of intricacy. The human hand, with its four fingers and opposable thumb, varying muscle strengths and precise degrees of freedom, is a marvel of evolution, and replicating it requires exceptional electromechanical engineering. Tesla's team is focused on making Optimus's hand dexterous enough for general purpose tasks, such as grasping delicate objects or performing intricate assembly work. Musk noted that this component alone is more challenging than the rest of the robot combined, highlighting the need for custom actuators primarily located in the forearm, just like in humans. Despite these hurdles, progress is evident. Optimus robots are already operational 24-7 in Tesla's Palo Alto engineering headquarters, where they can guide visitors to meeting rooms upon request. This real-time deployment demonstrates that the robot is not just a lab experiment, but a functional entity ready for broader testing. 
Scaling production is another critical step toward making Optimus available for sale, and Musk outlined ambitious plans in this regard. He revealed that Tesla is building a production line capable of manufacturing a million units per year, with production starting toward the end of 2026. This timeline suggests that initial sales could begin shortly thereafter, potentially in limited quantities to industrial partners before expanding to wider markets. The challenge lies in the absence of an existing supply chain for humanoid robots. Unlike cars or computers, where components are readily available, Tesla must vertically integrate much of the manufacturing process. This means producing parts in-house, from motors and sensors to batteries and AI chips. Musk emphasized that achieving high-volume production will require overcoming bottlenecks in the supply of over 10,000 unique items, but he expressed confidence in Tesla's manufacturing prowess, honed through years of ramping up electric vehicle output. Once scaled, Optimus could be priced accessibly. Musk has previously hinted at a target of around $20,000 per unit, making it feasible for businesses to adopt en masse. The potential applications of Optimus extend far beyond factories, painting a picture of a robot that's versatile enough to justify widespread commercial adoption. Musk envisions Optimus as a catalyst for sustainable abundance, a world where poverty is eradicated and everyone has access to high-quality services. For example, he described Optimus as an incredible surgeon, capable of performing precise medical procedures with superhuman accuracy. Imagine a future where robotic assistants handle routine surgeries in underserved areas, or provide in-home care for the elderly, folding laundry, cooking meals, or even tutoring children. In industrial settings, Optimus could work tirelessly in hazardous environments, like mining or disaster response, boosting productivity without risking human lives. Musk quantified this impact by calling Optimus at scale an infinite money glitch, estimating it could achieve five times the productivity of a human worker since it operates 24-7 without needing breaks or charging if tethered. This productivity multiplier could make working optional for humans, shifting society toward a post-scarcity economy where AI and robotics handle the grunt work. Musk's broader vision ties into Tesla's updated mission of sustainable abundance, going beyond mere sustainable energy. By combining Optimus with advancements in autonomous driving and energy storage, Tesla aims to create an ecosystem where resources are plentiful and accessible. During the call, Musk reiterated his confidence in solving unsupervised full self-driving at a safety level far superior to humans, which directly benefits Optimus through shared AI advancements. He also touched on Tesla's AI chip developments, like the AI5 chip, which will be 40 times more efficient and support the computational demands of robotic intelligence. These synergies position Tesla as a leader in embodied AI, where intelligence isn't confined to servers, but inhabits physical forms like Optimus. Of course, with great power comes great responsibility, and Musk addressed concerns about control and safety. He expressed a personal worry about building an enormous robot army without sufficient influence over its direction, linking this to his ongoing discussions about voting control at Tesla. This isn't about personal gain, he clarified but ensuring that such transformative technology is steered responsibly. Safety protocols will be paramount, with Musk committing to rigorous testing to prevent misuse. As Optimus moves toward market readiness, these ethical considerations will likely shape regulatory discussions, but Musk's track record with Tesla's safety-focused autonomous features suggests a proactive approach. Looking ahead, the unveiling of Optimus Gen 3 in early 2026 could be a watershed moment, much like the Cybertruck reveal or the first Model 3 deliveries. If the prototype lives up to Musk's hype, it might attract partnerships from companies eager to integrate robotics into their operations. Initial sales could target sectors like logistics, where giants like Amazon already use automation, or manufacturing, where labor shortages persist. Over time, as production ramps up, Optimus could enter consumer markets, becoming a household staple akin to smartphones today. The economic implications are staggering. Analysts project that the global humanoid robot market could reach trillions in value, with Tesla capturing a significant share due to its first mover advantage. Elon Musk's comments during Tesla's Q3 2025 earnings call paint a compelling picture of Optimus as a robot on the brink of commercial breakthrough. So what are Tesla's plans? 
How will Optimus's hands change? Before we begin, please help us reach 20,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great episodes about Tesla Model EVs and the latest news. Elon Musk has boldly claimed that Optimus could account for up to 80% of Tesla's future value, surpassing even its automotive division. The initial plan was ambitious. Produce 5,000 to 10,000 units by the end of 2025, scale to 50,000 units in 2026, and reach 1 million units annually by 2030. These targets hinged on leveraging Tesla's full self-driving AI system and vast data sets from its gigafactories. By mid-2025, Tesla had assembled approximately 1,000 units, primarily used internally for tasks like moving battery cells in production facilities, where their efficiency was roughly half that of human workers. However, technical challenges derailed the timeline. Reports revealed that Tesla halted component orders in June 2025 for about two months to refine designs. The primary issues were hardware-related, overheating joint motors, short-lived actuators, and batteries that couldn't sustain prolonged operation. There are two major obstacles, limited battery life and difficulties in hardware-software integration. Optimus's lithium-ion batteries, despite Tesla's expertise, supported only four to six hours of light-duty tasks, insufficient for a standard eight-hour shift. Software integration issues stemmed from AI models requiring real-world data, but the hardware lacked the precision to support complex machine learning. While AI-driven motion planning and energy optimization could improve battery efficiency by 20 to 30 percent, fundamental bottlenecks in core hardware components, such as joint motors and actuators. Most critically, the dexterous hands, the most intricate part of Optimus, struggled with payload issues. With only 11 degrees of freedom in the Gen 2 model, the hands couldn't handle heavy objects or perform precise tasks like screwing bolts or grasping fragile items. This led to a backlog of hundreds of incomplete robot torsos, lacking forearms and hands, forcing Tesla to lower its 2025 production target to 2,000 units. The departure of Milan Kovac, senior vice president overseeing Optimus in June 2025, further complicated matters. Kovac, who had led the project since its prototype phase, was replaced by a leadership trio. Konstantinos Laskaris, hardware, Ashok Elaswamy, AI software, and Lars Maravi Manufacturing. This restructuring reflected Musk's push to explore at least three distinct technical approaches for the dexterous hands. Despite these setbacks, Musk remained optimistic. In a September 2025 podcast, he acknowledged that the hands and forearms were the hardest technical part of the entire robot but emphasized that the Gen 3 version would mark a significant leap. Recent demo videos on X showcased Optimus practicing Kung Fu or playing catch, demonstrating progress in movement and balance, though still largely reliant on teleoperation. Amid these challenges, the latest supply chain news from China offers a glimmer of hope. Tesla placed an order for 1,000 dexterous hand units from Chinese manufacturers, a strategic move to overcome production bottlenecks. This order is more than a number. It signals a partnership with an advanced robotics ecosystem, which led the world with over 295,000 industrial robots installed last year, compared to just 34,000 in the U.S. The new dexterous hand design represents a substantial upgrade over its predecessor. In Optimus Gen 2, the hands had 11 degrees of freedom, powered by six electric actuators, focusing on basic grasping and manipulation. However, they lacked lateral finger movement and had only two degrees of freedom for the thumb, limiting dexterity. The replacement hands, with at least 22 degrees of freedom, plus three degrees of freedom in the wrist and forearm, use linear actuators housed in the forearm to mimic human tendons, reducing hand weight and enhancing precision. Key features include multi-layer tactile sensors detecting force temperature, and texture, an automatic clutch mechanism for locking grips without energy consumption, and AI integration for learning from synthetic data, boosting task success rates to 93%. This directly addresses payload issues. 
the new hands can handle 22 pounds without overloading, suitable for tasks like assembling electronics or providing medical assistance. The adoption of these new hands unlocks vast potential for Optimus, both technically and economically. First, it accelerates production. With 1,000 hand units available, Tesla can complete its backlog of robot torsos and meet the 2,000 unit target for 2025, potentially expanding internal testing at its Fremont and Austin factories. Performance will soar. For merely moving batteries with 50% human efficiency, what do you think about this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this. Join Techno Creator by subscribing and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.